Hello and welcome to Secure Code Warrior. In this module, we'll be looking at clickjacking. We'll explain what clickjacking is, its causes and preventions, and some potential hazards. So, what is clickjacking? Clickjacking is a form of attack where a user is tricked into clicking something other than they intended. By using transparent frames on top of the page, the user's click is registered on that frame instead of the underlying page. This attack is also known as UI redressing. What causes clickjacking? Web pages can be shown out of their original context and be placed in transparent frames on top of other pages. The user is not aware that another frame is being shown on top of the original page. To understand clickjacking vulnerabilities, let's look at an example. A new social media application allows users to like their favourite bands. Unfortunately, the application is vulnerable to clickjacking. The lead singer of an unpopular band wants more likes and uses his hacking skills to do so. On their personal website, they launch a contest to win free smartphones. However, the page contains an invisible frame to trick users into liking their band. Since everyone would like a free smartphone, a lot of users click the button and unknowingly like the band on the social media application. Clickjacking could have significant impact. By framing a settings page, an attacker could make users change their settings to a less secured state. Clickjacking could also result in users performing actions that they did not intend to. For example, liking or following pages on their social media or mail providers. Furthermore, users could be tricked into downloading and running malicious applications. They could unintentionally delete mails, share information or download malware. To prevent clickjacking, developers should use HTTP response headers that restrict framing. For example, use X-frame options such as Deny, a recommended setting that prevents all domains from framing the page. Same origin, denies framing by external sites. Or Allow from URI, which permits the specified URI to frame the page. Alternatively, Developers can use content security policy such as Frame Ancestors – None to forbid all framing, Frame Ancestors – Self to permit within site, or Frame Ancestors – URI, which permits the specified URI. Congratulations, you have now completed this module, Clickjacking.